Leo Lin Zed. You're right. No good. A cranium. Yeah. Can we go to? Let's go. But ah, you you just had an amazing period. Vodacom, URC, top try score in inaugural season. We all cried. We all cheered. It was magic seeing how things progressed from season to season, game to game. Just really looking back at that. When you when you sit down and you watch the highlights, you go, yo, I didn't expect it, but it happened. Yeah, yeah. Look, it was 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 quite a journey. Um, obviously, I still watch some um, some tries, and um, yeah, I think about a few years back, um, I couldn't even see this um, yeah. happening now. You know, so for me personally, it's, it's still a blessing yeah. to be able to play this game. That's all for yeah. me. Uh, but yeah. Um, I went through a few um, bumps through life, but um, yeah, it's still unbelievable. Like thinking about it now, like I can't even describe it, you know. Yeah, you mentioned a few bumps through life, and it was it was big injuries, broke your leg, bro. Yeah, that's that's a lot. Yeah, um, I don't want to let you relive those moments, yeah. but you're in a very very positive space now. Happened in pre-season, if I'm not mistaken, yeah. in the match. What happened at that moment? Could you feel, hey, this is this is gonna be a long time that I'm gonna be sitting out for? No, you know, actually, um, uh, I just felt like it was just a knock. I'm going to get up now and just walk it off. And when I, I tried to get up, I couldn't. So I tried to lift my leg. And as I lift my leg, my leg, leg just went down. And I didn't feel any pain at that time. But when I saw my leg, I just started crying. And um, I think my first thing was asking my physio and my doctor, will I be able to play? Because that was the only thing. Uh, that was bothering me at that moment and uh, obviously they trained to say the yeah. right things and, yes. uh, and I was just like, please don't bullshit me. Yeah. Like, and you're a rugby player, yeah. you ready to go back on. Yeah, so yeah, that was quite emotional for me. And that, 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 that recovery period or just knowing that you work so hard to get your game to the level where it is, fitness wise, yeah. now you have this big setback. Mentally, emotionally, what's happening over that process? Yeah, um, yeah I think Personally, the, the biggest challenge is mentally. Like I, I was out for a year, uh, yeah. I think a, a year is a long time, and it's my, my first big injury. I didn't struggle with injuries on school or stuff like that, so I didn't know how to deal with injuries, you know. And uh, I think the, the biggest part was was mentally, and uh, you see all your friends playing outside, you see guys even running, you miss that feeling of your, your lungs burning, you yeah. miss that nervous feeling before a game. And yeah, you have a lot of time for yourself, and, and you're not used to that. And uh, I think that's the part that takes a bit out of you, you know. But now you're back. Yeah. It's a, a call up, yeah. slowly but surely getting to where you want to be. What's the magic like when you hear the fans screaming when you guys are running out? Yeah, I think um, I've been thinking about this actually a lot. Like, you know, when we when we start um, running out and that fireworks goes off, uh, yo, I can't even describe it to you. Like, when you come to do the tunnel and you see that fireworks going out, off and you look around and you see those people, you see a flags waving, then sometimes it's so unreal. You don't realize what you're doing at the moment and people are paying to, to, to come watch you play. Yeah. And I think after that, that I'll always tell myself there's no turning back now. <laughs> you're, here. You're, you're here already. And, and for you, I'm sure it's even more special because when you broke your leg, yeah. at the time it was a potentially career-threatening yeah. injury and now to be able to be part of the, can we just clap? Vodacom United <laughs> Rugby Champions. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. DHL Stormers. This is a horrible <laughs> attempt that you've played in. Leolin Zaz, 11 tries. Ladies and gentlemen, what's, what's the moment like when you realize I'm top try scorer of the inaugural tournament and I'm part of the winning side? Yeah. And I, I asked earlier, but everything clicked and went accordingly, especially now that we know the back end of the process. Yeah, I think. Personally, that wasn't even my plans. I, I think I didn't set a goal and say, yeah, I wanted to be the top try scorer. Uh, for me, at first, I just wanted to play every game, you know. And yeah. um, obviously, when I got there and it gave me a bit of confidence, I was started to playing well. And uh, obviously, I must give credit to the guys around me, you know, because yeah. we everything just clicked. The guys worked hard, and yeah, I was just sometimes at the right places on the field, and I could score the tries and. Yeah, I'm not going to say no to that. Getting a taste of the South African A squad, that environment, to step up to the yeah. next level, what does that like? I played um, SA in 2016 and yeah. I was, what, 21, 20 yeah. years old and, and I was a different player that time. And I think now, um, as a more mature player, like, I saw it differently. Like, I think excitement took that part in 2016 yeah. and now I was just out there to learn, you know? And, uh, 
obviously the games didn't go our way the last past or oh, the past two games that we played but uh, I've learned a lot you know and mm. it was nice to, to wear the, the, the box um, envelope again on your, on your, did you on your chest yeah I did like as I said like after breaking my leg in the season I had at the Sharks and you know, been struggling to yeah. play just to make the team like for me it was just something out of this world because I didn't uh, think this was going to be possible again you know? yeah so it, it was quite touching for me and, and emotionally I'm going to put you on the spot I want yeah. some juice I want some wisdom yeah for any sports people out there even non-sports people who's just going through tough spaces and going yo this is this is the end you've shown that that second third chance is possible I got your words today that's quite a tough one I feel like people have the all different um, struggles you know in somewhere in your life you're gonna get it um, I feel like one thing that helped me is like family and friends like we we need to talk as men especially we don't talk you know yeah. and I think sometimes it's okay to say that you you don't feel like uh, like yeah um, I think we all have the days where we're like yo I don't want to do anything today yeah. and I feel like we need just need to get one person if you can and just to talk like sometimes I, I love being alone like and then I'll feel depressed and yeah. I'll be like, yo, I hate this life and whatever. But once I get to my friends, it, I just become a different person. And, and I think to, to, to keep yourself motivated and uh, to talk to yourself, to check into yeah. with yourself, you know, and to, to, to know what you're feeling. Because sometimes you feel stuff, but you don't know what type of feeling it is, you know. And uh, I think you should just keep yourself motivated and then, yeah, don't give up. There will always be a chance. I believe there will always be a chance. Leo Lizes, men must talk. Give me yeah. bro. Appreciate Thank you. So much, Thank brother. you. Okay, that's Thank you so much. There we go. It's pretty simple. Just like in the game of rugby, you too can get better at playing the bounce in life with the help of change science. So go to the change exchange and learn how to play the bounce. Away. Oh,